episode of Life with Naz. Quarantining in Corona, episode number 284. All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. 284 shows, people. Let's see, who do we have with us today? Here we go. We have with us a wonderful Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Welcome, Sarah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in, everyone. Uh, join us for this beautiful Friday night on a long, long weekend. Well, not real long, long. It's an extra day. So good to see you all. And let's see who else is joining us today on this wonderful. Let's see who else is on the show coming on YouTube with us today. Uh, let's see who is. Here we go. This is it. And yes okay let's see bobby miller is here hello oh mina ghali our wonderful our in-house real estate agent who if you're looking for a house john peters from florida well all the good people are coming back after uh being gone for a while come on 284 mina's here bobby's here alan goodwin hello alan how was your time with Tally last night? It was a wonderful date. Me and Tally had a great time. We went for sushi and we talked and we listened to, you know, the the music they were playing. The ambiance was her favorite music. So it was great. John Peters, I mean, from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. That is right. Hello, John. How are you? So now we have three people from Pennsylvania with us. Matthew Dirk from Big Green Lake in Wisconsin. And uh, Courtney, Courtney, Courtney Wyatt from Fontana is with us. Hello, Courtney. Sarah Voth from Washington, of course. And happy Friday from Becky Ottenberry in Louisiana. And let's see, John Shelton from Pennsylvania also is joining us. Hello. So John Shelton and John Peters are from Pennsylvania. Uh, one from Lancaster and one from, I don't know where, in Pennsylvania. All right. The, well, all good, old and new. All right. Uh, John Shelton, I'm back too. All right. Becky Voss, 2 plus 8 equals 4. Exactly. All right. Well, come on in, everyone. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is it today? Today I had a lunch meeting. Thank you for your prayers, guys, for wisdom. I had a, a lunch meeting with a with someone that we work with, a pastor, and it was really went well. Just wonderful fellowship time. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I've been there. It's wonderful. It's about an hour north of Baltimore. Baltimore. And by the way, just want to remind you guys. Oh no, be afraid. Be very afraid. Uh oh. <laughs> You're scared from your mom. You're scared from your mom. Should we call social services, Sarah? Ray Elfers, how are you, my friend? It's good to see you on this side of the Facebook instead of YouTube. And Lily Navas. Honey, I'm home. Hello, Lily. Welcome. Bobby Miller, thank you for all the comments and prayers. Love you all. Hope mom is doing good, man. Or doing better. All right. Let's see. Continue to pray for Leland. I don't know if it's going to help. It's already Friday. I texted him this morning and he said he's working with the director on finding a replacement. Elena, how are you? It's been a while. Elena, our Walmart person. Hello, Elena Hemingway. All righty. You know what? Here's my thought. Let me see. Let me just welcome the people. We have someone. We have Michael Ramirez. Hello, 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 beautiful people. He is on YouTube right now. I don't know why he can't be on. Is he on? He's probably on Facebook jail. Catherine Allen, how are you? Thank you for joining us. Come on in, people. Again, Monday, we are off for Veterans Day. If you're a veteran or you're from a, you know, military family. Rita, Rita is a veteran. Rita is in Nashville right now. Not Nashville, in Tennessee. And she was in the 
Air Force, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or the National Guard, I think the Air Force. So thank you for your service, Rita. Okay, mom is stable, but no, <laughs> but no anything, nothing new. Okay, but now, oh, okay, well, let's pray that she stays stable. Mina, Memorial Day, yes, yes, yes. Did I say Veterans Day? It's Memorial Day. Yes, Memorial Day. And uh, this is not a day where you go and tell someone Happy Memorial Day. This is just, you know, it's remembering all the heroes that, uh, you know, gave their life, the ultimate sacrifice for our nation. Say loot. Say loot. Okay, yes. And let's see. Why is Michael Ramirez? I don't know. Maybe he is. Michael is. Yeah, he's saying hello, cha. But he is on. Why aren't you Michael Ramirez? Why aren't you on uh, on our Facebook? I think he is in Facebook prison. Oh, we got someone, a new friend. Hello from the Philippines. Oh, how are you? Thank you for joining us. I love Filipino people. Yes. Actually, uh, I, I can't say I'm friend, but I've been to his house and I prayed with the famous Filipino boxer, Manny Pacquiao, uh, the Pac-Man Pacquiao. Yeah, I was in his house in L.A., me and Carol, my daughter, and we had a nice talk, me and him, before the day before the game. Then we went to Vegas and saw him uh, win. So that's, uh, yeah, hello, welcome. Uh, send us some balut, okay? That would be good. Okay, hello, Philippines, welcome. Connecting the dots in Connecticut. Of course, that's our clueless in California, San Marcos to be exact. It's art, of course. All righty. Hey, hey, I was thinking this. This is just a thought. You know, to, to be a man of faith, I have to sympathize with people before I judge them. Before you judge someone, it says it's good to walk in their shoes for a mile. Just that means you can relate to them, you can know what they're going through, and then you're not as harsh in your judgment or will change your mind. For to me, you know, I do, I made a habit to walk a mile in, in people's shoes and relate to them. It didn't help. All I got is fungus and athlete foot. I couldn't relate to them. My feet are itching. I should have never been wearing someone else's shoes. I should have smelled the shoes before I even try them on. And if you ever remember Payless Shoes, we used to have stores called Payless Shoes. You know, those they sell cheap shoes. You think... You know, they stink after a while. They stink right in the store, baby. You go to the store right on the rack. It's like, yo, it already smells bad. I wear size 12. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> I've had balut. You did? Oh, John had balut. I'm sorry, I can't read your name. But welcome, whoever you are. That's right. You can't even type it. Oops, yeah, stinky pair of shoes. Naz, I recommend charcoal inserts if you're going to wear someone else's shoes. Thank you, Art. That's really helpful. Okay, Michael Ramirez said, I love Balut. The bird's head is crunchy. Oh, he's having trouble getting into Facebook. Interesting. They do that sometimes. You know, Facebook sometimes does weird stuff. But then again, we gave him that, our freedom so they can do whatever they want with us. Let's see who else is joining us. Okay. Last night I asked you the question and man, you guys were funny. Do you see my cup because it's green? It's, it's see-through. I'm drinking water without a cup. See, it's good. Look at that. That's magic. Okay. Worst name for a butcher shop. Worst name for a butcher shop. At number 20, nice to meet you. 
Number 19, will beef jerk you around? Number 18, vegan. Number 17, meat matter. Number 16, Shawshank Redemption. Number 15, where's the beef? Number 14, meat clinic. Number 13, Noah's Ark. Number 12, Hell's Dog Grooming and Butcher Shop. Number 11, Mystery Meat. Number 10, Don't Have a Cow. Number 9, Worst Name for a Butcher Shop, Finger Hot. Number 8, What's in Your Freezer? <laughs> Number 7, As the Cow Turns. Number 6, Grease Land. Number 5, Chuck Norris. Number 4, Here is Barber and Butcher Shop. Number 3, Meet and Greet. <laughs> Number two, Silence of the Lambs. And the number one worst name for a butcher shop, Bone of My Bones and Flesh of My Flesh. The same words our father Adam said in the beginning. That was so funny, guys. And thank you so much for that funny. So tonight, tonight he is my first one. Give me some excuses why... I'm not going to the dentist. Why you're not going to the dentist? Excuses why you are not going to the dentist. Give me some excuses why you're not going to the dentist. This came from Rita. Okay, and this is what she said. Rita said, the dentist doesn't use rubber tipped needles. My dentist doesn't offer Zoom at this time. Don't need to. I have more teeth than a newborn. Her office disallows keeping what's left of the laughing gas. Mm, they don't. All right, so give me your excuses. Number 13, my favorite number. Yes, session made top 20. Yes. Yeah, I got one of on the list. It was hard question for me. Not too bad. I think you got two on the list. Sarah. I love number five. <laughs> okay, cow pies. That's right. Drum roll, Bobby. Yum, smoke it for a few hours. Naz, I recommend some smoke it for a few hours. All right, Courtney. My fridge is running. Oh, that's why you can't go. I caught COVID. All right. I have no teeth left. <laughs> hey, Rosetti. That's funny. I hate needles. Uh, they may only pull teeth, but they charge me an arm and a leg. Yes. I'm healed. <laughs> I don't need to, right? I have holy, to holy teeth. H-O-L-L-Y, right? Or one L. That's called cavities when you have holes in your teeth, Bobby. Not paying to have someone cause me pain and numbness. That's true. Makes sense. I left the stove on. That's why I'm not going. I already have a hole in my head. Don't need another one. <laughs> I don't want to be told what I did wrong. <laughs> right, Joey? Hello, Joey Mahoney. Welcome back. Mina said, I will not be spoken to negatively by any means. <laughs> me and my dentist don't get along. Okay. Judgy. <laughs> He's so judgy, huh? I still have candy left. <laughs> yep, finish. Oh, I, I need to get some light. Let's see who else is joining us. Michael, I have balut stuck in my tooth. That's why he's not going to the dentist. Uh, let's see. All right. And where is it? Okay, let's see. We are catching up with everybody here. And I still have candy left. Don't like needles. I'm over 10 years old and they refuse to give me a toy. Oh, I would change dentist for that. Dented his car. <laughs> I thought this was <laughs> a butcher shop. It is. If you think about it, the the amount of pain you're going to get, it's always picking on me. I'm too self-conscious. <laughs> my dentist hands are big for my mouth. Magazines are out of date. I refuse to open my mouth. 
I still have my foot in my mouth, and that's it's hard to work on your teeth when that's the case. <laughs> oh, so that's a foot and mouth disease, huh? They no longer give out lollipops, right? The last time I went, he extracted all my money. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Halitosis. <laughs> I don't need teeth to eat ice cream, right? Saw him in bar earlier. <laughs> so you're not going. He was drunk, huh? I, I don't like laying upside down. I don't like flavored toothpaste polish. Right. Michael Ramirez said, sanitize and share. That's right. It's time to sanitize and share, people. All right. Please share this show with everyone you know. Hey, that rhymes. There, with everyone you know. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, who else did sanitize people? Did you sanitize? Did you share? It's time to sanitize and share. Uh, I've seen the Carol Barnett show. I saw what happened. Yes. What's his name with the... I worked with him, Tim. Ah, uh, I can't believe I forgot his last name. The com the comedian, t um, and what's his name? The famous. Uh, what's his name? The actor that autographed you. He he does. Uh, what's his name? On uh, the kids' movie with the, uh, he's the, the worm. Nobody autographed me. Just no, not you, for John and Carol, yeah. What's his name? Yeah. Tim. I no you got to help me, people. It makes me numb. I can't believe I'm forgetting names. There's, I think my mind is focusing on just important stuff, or I'm just not having enough memory, so my mind has to delete some stuff to put new stuff in. I'm two hours late. Sorry, I missed my appointment. Sure you did. Good night all. Have a, to leave early. Have a great weekend. You too, John. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you next Tuesday, God willing. Have a great time. He bit my ear last time. <laughs> uh, too late works my on my crown. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get my crowns in heaven. I don't need them from a dentist on this earth. He's... My dentist is racist. How come only white teeth are good teeth, huh? huh? All right. It's always like pulling teeth when I go to the dentist. Just like, right? I'm, I'm too far gone. <laughs> I'm too far gone. Sleep was more, was more important, right? <laughs> ah, that's when I got cold feet. All righty. All right, I'm behind. Dentist just bought a Rolls Royce. <laughs> the Novocaine lasts too long. All right, I know. I thought the lobby was parking lot. <laughs> he was not happy. He told me no Novocaine and to suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> I thought this was a proctologist. <laughs> they stole my wallet while I was under. <laughs> my dentist has hairy fingers. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, you can see him through the gloves too, huh? That's bad. They're sticking out of the gloves. <laughs> he won't let me keep my mask on. <laughs> Good one, Courtney. Good one. Oh, he bet on Vikings to win the Super Bowl. Nope, not if you're a Green Bay Packer fan. Let's see what Michael Romero said. Tim Allen. No, no, it's not Tim Allen. Yes. He did the Carol Barnett show. His son is Tim Conway. Tim Conway. Shoot. Why would I forget? Well, I told you why I forget. Yeah, Tim Conway. I worked with him a few times. I actually spent half an hour in the green room at TBN talking to him. He's a Christian man. Great guy. Wonderful. Funny, funny, hilarious guy. 
We had a good interaction on YouTube if you want to see it. Don't you be in. Thank you, Bobby. It's Tim Conway, yes. Uh, reminding us to sanitize. You also. He won double glove. I didn't get my free toothbrush. Oh, no. Can't trust the dentist. Just found out there's no tooth fairy. Tim Conway, thank you guys so much. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Oh, Mar Martina, welcome. And Debbie Malone, how are you, Debbie Malone? Welcome. I think you've been with us before, right, Debbie? He uses homemade laughing gas. <laughs> Tim Conway, yes, yes, yes. My dentist is like Peter Sellers. Oh, no. Tim Conway, Tooth Fairy didn't refer me. <laughs> he refuses to serve me. I forgot to shower. Oh, no. The Tooth Fairy gives you money. Dentist takes <laughs> Oh, is he from Ohio? Oh, he's from Ohio. I'm from Ohio too, originally. Toledo. So funny, we have so many ants seeing, but you're not seeing the comments. Oh, my. Tim Conway and Harvey Corman, that's right. Did the dentist kiss you? It was hilarious, even though it can make some people squirm. <laughs> no, it was hilarious. He always hums like a bridge over troubled water. That's your dentist, right? The dentist has halitosis. The dentist also work on horses. <laughs> I immediately would change him. Uh, David, Pastor David, welcome back. Hope that last storm a couple days ago didn't impact you. I was thinking of you guys. Uh, I'm allergic to Novocaine. I don't like looking like a f f falling down drunk after getting my teeth worked on. He said he needed to pull a tooth and I said quit pulling my leg. <laughs> he always hands me a plaque afterwards. <laughs> All right. Yes. My dentist is my mother-in-law. Oh, no. I smelled alcohol in his breath the last time. <laughs> he won't share the laughing gas with me. He transcends dental <laughs> medication. <laughs> It's hilarious, Naz. We were helping you out with Tim Conway's name, but you didn't get down that far in the comment. I know. I just kept trying to think. Yes. He refuses to show me his degree. <laughs> the dentist is on the 13th floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's bad luck right there. He tried to sell me ex accidental insurance. <laughs> Do they have such a thing, accidental? insurance he keeps trying to sell me <laughs> gently worn dentures <laughs> how many bites you need how many megabytes you want on those dentures that's that's what they should have. these dentures have been had like 20 bytes or megabytes on them left that's like a flash drive debbie malone one of my sisters oh Awesome. Hello, Miss Malone. Are you in Louisiana as well? Let's see how I'm going to drink this water without a cup. Magic. I'm being entertained by the simplest things. Can you believe that? The glass is actually green. That's why. The dentist has missing teeth, right? He used horse needles. The dentist also the veterinarian. The dentist has string around the doorknob. His nose. You know, I tried that once. I literally it didn't work. The hinges on my door were too. They needed to be greased, or maybe my tooth wasn't ready to come out. My dentist reads from the book that tells you how to do dental work while doing the work. <laughs> Probably now on YouTube. He's like watching YouTube. <laughs> my dentist is awesome. He's part of my extended family. Oh, so I have to be careful not to talk smack while he's working on my teeth. Well, after they do the Novocaine, you're going to be talking smack <laughs> against your will. True story. <laughs> I love those true stories, Pastor David. When I was seven, I had to have a tooth pulled. 
I heard the pop from the root breaking, and then the dentist said, oops, as his finger went down my throat. He dropped the tooth and couldn't get it out, so he pushed it down and made me swallow it. Ouch! He told my mother that it would pass naturally, but that I had to eat ice cream and pudding for a few days. Hey, that was worth it. <laughs> you ate your own teeth? <laughs> He's not Steve Martin from Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> I keep sliding to the more expensive side of the sliding scale. <laughs> the dentist lost his license and is working on a permit. <laughs> All righty. Okay, let's see. Yes. Hey, family, thought you'd really need a laugh. So glad to be on with you. Tough day. Oh, well, come on in, Sophia. We're picking on dentists. Give us some excuses why you don't want to go to the dentist. He's Edward Scissorhand. Let's see. We got some friends here on YouTube at, at uh, Conway Jr. Caleb Bino. Hi. Hi, Caleb. Welcome to the show. I listened to him on KFI 640. That's right. Her magazines in the waiting room are X-rated. <laughs> Get it X-rated. <laughs> he gave me used dentures. Sophia's with us. He wants to show me how to pull my own tooth via Zoom. He kept chewing gum and I was afraid he would do... <laughs> he would drop his gum on my mouth. And my gum. <laughs> he pulled out how to do dentistry for dummies. So sorry you're feeling done. Oh, yes. The ink runs on the diploma. <laughs> it's fake. He's got a copy of Dentistry for Dummies on his shelf. Dentist has all silver teeth. <laughs> oh, he said you're my first patient I've ever had. Oh, no. My dentist is Italian and wanted to share his marbles. Oh, that's funny. They were making fun of me when the when they thought I was under. <laughs> He's retiring and doesn't really care if he messes up. <laughs> My dentist name is Dr. Jingle Hammer Schmidt. <laughs> that's funny. All righty. Come on. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Our new friends on YouTube. Okay, remember, Memorial Day this Monday. Long weekend. Enjoy it. The traffic is already horrible. Horrible? Did I say horrible? Horrible. He has wooden teeth. <laughs> My dentist kept falling off her stool. He always plays the tooth extraction scene from the movie Cast Away on the TV. Oh, no. Five words. This won't hurt a bit. Right. He couldn't get my bridge out and pulled very hard and it hit the wall. True story. Ouch, Debbie. Ow. <laughs> hey, Michael made it from one device to another. All right, Michael. Welcome. Welcome. How was it on YouTube? Is it colder or here it's colder? We don't get along. He thinks he knows more than me. <laughs> I keep telling him how to do the work. He don't listen. Oh, there was a green cross in the door and there was a haze in the room. <laughs> he was listening to the game while working on my teeth. His name was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, is it? And sometimes his name is Dr. Hyde. Sophia, blessed to see you, Sarah. Let's see. He keeps asking questions and complains why I don't answer. That's right. That is true. Yes. My dentist does that. He numbs my lip and it starts and, and then he starts asking me questions. And it's like I'm 
And he's like, oh, you're so funny. No, thank you. <laughs> I'm serious. This is funny, right? I'm going to call you. You got to give us a name to call you because I can't read it. Let's say three and the number four. Three, four. Uh, we'll call you our Filipino family member. How about that? He kept saying it. If I saw the light. <laughs> Did you say the traffic was jair balls? <laughs> a long haired cat gets those hair <laughs> balls. Hair balls. No, it's horrible, not hair balls. <laughs> You're so funny, Becky. I was reading some of your older comments another day. You're so funny. Michael, yes, he's just scrapping by. My mom is here with me, and here's her story. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. No single ladies on YouTube, so I came here. <laughs> he was late because he was carrying a long, t crying a long time at his AA meeting. <laughs> My dentist sneezes every time he scrapes. <laughs> He's allergic to teeth. Huh? She had the dentist pull the wrong crown out. Ow, ow, ouch. That's so she got two new crowns, right? I hope so. Love that numbing shot. <laughs> it's not just one, he just does. Ee, ee. I'm like, can't you just wait and see if this one works? Maybe we don't need more. He keeps laughing at me trying to talk. <laughs> yes, it's funny. My dentist is my friend. We we run together, we, you know, when we're, when we're in town, he lives in Orange County, and when we, we go to conferences together, I go on his boat, we go, you know, hanging out, uh, but he still charges me a lot. He was, he used to come on the show early on when we started the show. My dentist cracked a wisdom tooth in my mouth while ta taking it out. Ooh, but he took it out, so it's, uh, it's okay. You don't. It's cracked, but it's gone. My dentist makes a lot of bathroom trips. <laughs> I think I saw Jesus at the end of a tunnel. <laughs> that was just his light and the Novocaine, Sarah. <laughs> my dentist plugged in my chair. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's sanitize people. Every 15 minutes, we sanitize and share. All righty. Everybody sanitize and everybody share this with your friends. We have 90 people watching right now. 90 people, and let's see who else is here. Michael Ramirez has left the building. So if so he can win tonight if he's on YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Alrighty, the name of his practice is Dental California, and he always plays Hotel California on the radio. All right, let's stand up. My dentist gave me a used toothbrush. <laughs> He's got the shakes. Oh, no. That's bad. My checkbook don't like you. Because my mouth is my personal space. That's funny. Joey, Joey, Joey Stilson. I didn't see you. You sneaked in there. How are you, our beloved chef? His horse and buggy broke down. He's only lost his license 37 times. It's another real story. I love those. Had to have a wisdom tooth removed surgically. They put me out with laughing gas. And I was waking up. I had a soft tapping that just kept getting louder and louder. When I finally opened my eyes, they had just pushed me into the next room. And the dentist was standing over the next patient with a hammer knocking out the tooth of the next woman in order to put it in dentures. All I could think was, that was what he just did to me. Probably did. <laughs> yes, Nia, she's with a new dentist and loves him. Awesome, awesome. After the first numbing shot, he asked me to turn the other cheek. Wow, Christian of him. I'm still numb since the last visit. I forgot where the office is located. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you, Debbie. Oh, because if they pull my wisdom teeth, I'll be so dumb. <laughs> my dentist cracks me up 
My dentist takes too many beauty breaks. Naz, I hope to see Joey on the Laugh Ter for All podcast. Well, I asked him. He works on those times. We, we might change the timing of the of the uh, what do you call the podcast to an evening time. So Tuesday will become uh, podcast night. So everyone can be able to watch, ask questions instead of just, uh, you know. My dentist started talking about walking on water and asked him if his name was Peter. Even though my dentist is Christian, he always plays crown him with many crowns. (laughs) My dentist doesn't know the difference between toothpaste and preparation itch. (laughs) Well, when your lips go tiny, it's preparation itch. Because he keeps casting crown, <laughs> my dentist doesn't stay six feet away. That's right. He, he has to until June 15th. No, August. Uh, no, June 15th, California. Doing well at work right now, eating my dinner and taking a break for a bit. Oh, sorry, June. I feel bad for you that you're busy and you're working hard, but I'm sure your 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 dinner is really better than any... Lunch anybody can take to work. Robot, ch- robot chair is rocking. The chair kept going up and down. My dentist uses guarding gloves and a shovel. <laughs> True story. Here we go. Had all four wisdom teeth pulled. They put me under. When I woke up, they looked at me strange. My head and neck were on the left side, not center. They slipped three discs. <gasps> In my neck, 12 months doing traction in hospital three times a week. Ouch. The dentist didn't charge me. I hope not. Ah, man. That's hard. They cracked. Oh, they slipped three discs in your neck. What was he doing? Oh, that's that's not funny. Ornez, you could prick... Pre-record Joey for the podcast unless you don't like that type of thing. I don't know. We might do that. He's old school, only uses a chisel and a hammer. He refuses to work on my teeth because I always went there without brushing my teeth first. I figured, well, he's going to clean them anyway, right? Guess he didn't like to see my spinach salad after the fact. You know, someone was saying... Before you go to the dentist, give him a job. Eat some Oreo cookies. Just just eat a lot of Oreo cookies and just go there. Say, okay, go ahead and clean my teeth. After the last extraction, fangs grew in. <laughs> my last dentist's office was an equal opportunity employer, and the last dentist walked in with a white cane. It's painful and so funny. Right things you know i had me you know when i pulled my four yeah wisdom teeth i had him put me down like put me down don't want no no just put me down completely i was completely gone and when i woke up i my face was swollen but no i didn't slip into anything no slipping bad that's bad i'm sorry i would be walking to court like this it's him it's him people judge that's him how do you know? Were you? Did you see him? I was sleeping. How would you know you didn't get out of the chair, went and drove your car, Lily, got in an accident, came back, and they finished the job while you were under? <laughs> so you have no kids right there. My dentist refuses to remove the spinach between his teeth. Oh, they installed magnets to keep snap my mouth shut every time I tried to talk. The dentist turned down my marriage proposal. <laughs> oh, my dentist gave me gummy bears to replace all the gums he took out of my teeth. Oh, man. He only studied medieval <laughs> tooth removal. Bring me the chisel. Oh, that's funny. Have a wonderful... By the way, if you're new to us, Maha Farah Rizkala is my wife. So I said, hi, baby, that's funny, baby. That's the only one I called baby, except unless I'm in the maternity, you know, 
uh, floor at the hospital, there's a lot of babies there. But that's my only baby. No, I told, I call my kids baby, Tally and Carol, of course, not John. He's not a baby. He's too hairy to be a baby. Have a wonderful and safe weekend, everyone. I'm late for my class. Oh, Martina, thank you. I love it that you guys, when you, you know, even at your lunch or you have a little break or before work or uh, just join us. That's awesome. My dentist was trying to wake me up after a procedure and I thought I heard him saying, Lazarus, come forth. My dad's dentist dropped the probe down his throat. Ow! Courtney, your whole family needs to find move out of San Bernardino County and go somewhere else, get a dentist in Orange County or somewhere else. Oh, that's funny. Oh, thank you. If you guys didn't watch Dear Mama, the four-minute video about my wife, her first week in America, it's on my Facebook. Just go down, my personal Facebook, Nazareth Riscala. And just watch it. He must have yanked my teeth out so hard. It was awful. I could be rich right now, but I didn't go there. Well, God bless you. I'm, I'm personally against suing anyone. So God bless you otherwise. Because I always ate corn on the cob before my appointment. He doesn't like me now. <laughs> it's funny. Lost teeth, but gained extra personalities. Right. He took my fangs away. <laughs> You're not scary anymore, Catherine, huh? He always says the tooth, the whole tooth and nothing but the tooth. You're so funny. I noticed my dentist diploma was from a ACME. A -C -M -E, from a they left halfway through the procedure, robbed the bank and never returned. Asking if they were single. Kept asking if they were single. <laughs> Michael Ramirez kept asking. Oh. Oh, Crystal Liffler is here on YouTube. Hi, Crystal. Question, yes. The question is, what's your excuse for not going to the dentist? What's your excuse for not going to the dentist? He's not a real dentist, but they played one on TV. I like to keep track of what the dentist is doing. So when I had my four wisdom teeth pulled all at once, I just had Novocaine. Ouch. He kept saying a tooth for a tooth. I can't go to the dentist that forgot to use the toothbrush themselves. Right. When John pulled his wisdom teeth, I told the dentist, uh, no need for Novocaine. No, no. I just want to, you know, it was his punishment for not being a nice son. No, I'm just kidding. But no, he, they did it without. He pulled... This this guy is really good. He pulled his teeth. He can pull your... He can give you a... And I'm not promoting him right now, but I am in a way. He can give you a root canal and you'll you'll be chewing gum an hour later and not feeling anything. But man, he charges a lot because he knows he's good. I can't go to the dentist that forgot to use it. Yeah, this was out in Torrance. Oh, he only allowed me to come in at 2.30. Tooth hurty. Tooth <laughs> oh, 2.30, 2.30. The dentist office TriStar Family Dentistry is pretty good in Rialto. Oh, because I consume massive amounts of garlic. Right. He's so cheap, didn't give me a straw to drink the mouthwash. <laughs> because I charge him for his services. Crystal. Yes, she's on YouTube. The last time I went to the dentist, he told the nurse to turn off the lights because he could remove a tooth blindfolded. <laughs> he is so abrasive, at least the toothbrush is. My dentist told me they had to go take a lunch break in the middle of doing a crown work. They asked me if I wanted anything from in and out Oh, no. Oh, he unfriended me. <laughs> the last time I went, I was celebrating his 85th birthday. <laughs> Okay, charge me an ex exuberant, exu exuberant amount of money, but said I could save 15% by switching to Geico. Right? Trying. There was no toilet paper in the bathroom. Oh, no. He needs to join us and win this beautiful toilet paper. 
It's 9.15 sanitized time, less sanitized than share time. Come on, people. If you're watching, all you have to do is just share this show with your friends. Or at least let them know. There was... <laughs> okay, the name of his practice is Novocaine and Abel. <laughs> Novocaine and Abel. The dentist's name was Rita, and I'm afraid of her. <laughs> He was wearing a necklace with the last 32 people. That would be funny. <laughs> He's collecting people's teeth. All right, Crystal, give us the funny answers. Because he would rather go to the other theme park than my work. <laughs> I was in the waiting room and checked his ratings and it said half a star. It's funny while you're sitting and they, they already put the Novocaine and you're going to Yelp and you see him and you see everybody complaining. <laughs> that would be horrible. Oh, more of that glassless water. He didn't give me a credit card. He didn't give me credit for keeping the tooth. How was the sushi last night with your daughter? It was great. We had a good time. My 13-year-old daughter, Tally, we, you know, it's been the pandemic. We didn't do a lot. And she's busy with her school at home. So we went to dinner, late dinner. It was fun. I enjoy being, you know, you just sit and listen and let them talk. And you kind of learn so much. So thank you for asking. He kept saying, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> no Guinness Book of Records? No, there is. But uh, let me finish reading those. Because he is the tooth fairy's worst nightmare. The sign at the dentist was, enter at your own risk. As I walked in, he said, oh, I remember this guy. <laughs> if anyone was curious what I made for my lunch break at work, medium rare, half pound burger, sun-dried tomato, Spread, butter, lettuce, avocado, onion, cheddar cheese, bacon, and brie, brie, oh, brioche, I can't say it, the, this Italian bun, brioche, brioche, is that how you say it, brioche bun, That's, you're teasing us, the police arrested him last time I went, you recognize that the dentist was the guy you saluted in the car with your favorite bird that morning. I get it. <laughs> because he learned dentistry from Skillshare. <laughs> Feel free to come over and cook that <laughs> here anytime. Right. That's an invitation. I would have either pepper jack or mozzarella. Oh, here you go, guys. Here you go again. Making Naz hungry. It's the nice question about the largest hamburger Naz. Yes, it is. Let's go to the Guinness Book of World Records, people. And, of course, Michael, you can't win tonight. Because <laughs> you suggested it and you know it. Today is National Hamburger Day, people. National Hamburger Day. And Christian Deschinger, Hans Maurer, Rudy Del... Why do I read all the names? Tom... They're, they're from Germany. They're all from Germany. In 2017... They made the largest hamburger. And it was achieved by Wolfgang, Leib, Tom, and all these names. The hamburger consisted of three meat patties, tomatoes, lettuce, cucumbers, onions, hamburger sauce, and a bun. How much did it weigh? Over a thousand pounds, under five thousand pounds. And it's an even number. Over a thousand pounds, under five thousand pounds, even number on National Hamburger Day. I'm going to make you hungry now. You have three guesses if you're new with us. Three guesses. You have three guesses. And if you come close to that number or you hit it from the Guinness Book of World Records, you win. This wonderful Weight Watcher toilet paper. It's a Weight Watcher toilet paper. It's not, it's not big anymore because it has discipline. This toilet paper was that big. But with discipline, look at her now. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to read the rest of the questions. 
Uh, Joey, stop making me hungry, right? Because he's prone to take out his anger issues on his patients. Oh, no. You hear, I think we're going in the day interim. Try this one. <laughs> Let the day interim try this one. He used my laughing gas. Joey, how about a nice prime rib, right? Bri oh, brioche. 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 UK. Oh, thank you, Art. I can count on Art. Or provolone or smoked. Oh, here we go again. I know it's Michael Ramirez. Plus, I know you already looked up the answer. <laughs> uh, one mile. To see a sign on the other on the door that you can get a free COVID nineteen test with each visit. Guess I'm. You know, here in California, they're really pushing it. Like you can get a fifty dollar gift card now, or a seventy five dollar gift card from Target, or you enter into a drawing where you can get thousands of dollars or millions of dollars. It's funny how they want people, and we, the people, don't get anything. 3600 for Pastor David. Guess I made a nice segue. You sure did. Art 4998, 4996, and 4994. Sarah, Rita said 1222, 2222, 44, 44. Becky Vols, 1872, 4922, 3724. Courtney, 1250, 33, 48, and 4200. He kept giving me that hard candy that breaks your teeth, right? Does the Tooth Fairy pay hockey players? No. That's funny. 1100, 1700, and 2500 for Bobby. I One hour at 300 Fahrenheit, 20 minutes at 400. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. If I eat that much hamburger, I definitely need the TP. <laughs> he kept using toilet paper to stop the bleeding in my mouth. 2860, 3860, and 4860 for Lily. 1525, 2525, and 3525 for Becky Ottenberry. Matthew Dirk said 33, 33, 45, 21, and 34, 52. Sarah said 1500, 2500, 3500. Sophia. <laughs> I hope Sophia's laughing. We want you to laugh, Sophia. You find your dentist on the Priceline blind choice option and there's an, an overweight layover. He told me he watched a video on how to do this. He ran out of gauze. Maha said 6666, it's under 5,000, baby. Gavin Newsom is just trying to keep his job by buying it off water. I feel that way, right? 2,800, 4,000 for Sophia. Joey said 22, 22, 33, 33, and 44, 44. Maha said 46, 6, 6. He said, oops, last time I went. <laughs> Joey Mahoney, 12, 34, 34, 56, and 24, 68. Because he got made, he got made that I would have a snack every time he left the room. <laughs> the dentist make us... <laughs> Dr. Kerkorian, Kerkorian, and he went to use an IV needle instead of a laughing gun. Dr. O. Kavorkian. He used Dr. Kavorkian. <laughs> His picture is on the most wanted list because I would put random metal things. All right, Elena said 2575, 35.75, and 45.75. Because I would put random metal things between my teeth and let him try to guess what I was in the x-ray. <laughs> Ma, I vote for your son twice. Thank you. My dentist license is not documented. Do you ever sear, do you ever sear the hamburger in a frying pan two to three minutes each side before putting it in the oven? I didn't know you put hamburgers in the oven. Huh. You show up at the office and the sign says, the laugh stop, <laughs> right? Because I think they gave me too much laughing gas. I thought he was stuffing Gaza Strip in my mouth. <laughs> Sold. Okay. Since we are getting into prayer time, let's give you the answer. The largest hamburger. Waited. Let's see. Anybody else bet here? Okay, we're done. 
2566 pounds 2566 pounds and the winner is Becky Ottenberry from wonderful wonderful Louisiana Debbie Malone came with 4999 2895 1556 close Debbie but the closest one was Becky Ottenberry. She said 25, 25. No, 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 no. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have to apologize. Elena came with 2575, which is the closest to the winning. So I apologize. I'm so sorry, Becky Ottenberry. I think Elena, our Walmart wonderful representative, is the one who won with 2575. And this Weight Watcher toilet paper is yours. Congratulations. And now it is time for your prayer request, people. And, and I want to remind you, it's a long weekend. Uh, we're not going to be with you uh, on Monday. So we resume on Tuesday at 8.30 p.m., God willing. And, of course, Tuesday at 2 will be our uh, podcast with comedian Mike Williams from Florida. This guy actually doesn't live in Florida anymore. He lives in Dominican Republic. He is a missionary there and still comes to the States and does his comedy. Uh, it'll be great. He's so funny and he's so genuine. You show up at the office and the sign says, yeah, because I think because I think they gave me too much laughing gas. I thought <laughs> he stopped the gas strip. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm so sorry, guys. Becky, I apologize. Oh, I'm at home. I cook my burgers in a cast iron skillet at work. I flame grilled them. Oh, cast iron skillet. The rooster just wants some of that hamburgers to go share with Ro oh, what a What a romantic. I apologize for every day I was mean to that rooster. He's so romantic. As you were walking in there, a gurney with a sheet over the last pitch. <laughs> <laughs> and there's blood on that sheet. When he gives me the stuff to wash out my mouth, he always says, that's the last straw. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Elena. Not sorry, Elena. I'm congratulating you. I'm, I'm doing, I'm pulling one of those, uh, what's his name? Steve Harvey on you guys tonight. Did Elena leave? No, <laughs> she's still there. Oh, Becky Attenberry, so sweet. Naz, did the Steve Harvey, let's pray for him. That's exactly what it is. We'll miss you, Naz. We won't see you until next month. Oh, that's right. It'll be June. I was thinking that. I'll bring a roll down in a minute, Becky. Pray for safe travels, heading to desert, and on holiday all next week. Yes. Ten days at the Cove. Yes. And we're praying you get your passports. We're also, oh, Marie just joined us. See you next month, right? Marie rang. All right, uh, pray for uh, Bobby's mom. Um, pray for Sarah's hand to heal completely. And pray for, let's see, uh, who else needs prayer? Please, uh, oh, pray for my, uh, for Leland, for a miracle to happen. I know he lost his job for the month, which is acting job. And so let's pray that God would open another door. So hungry. I know because he had blood on his scrubs. Did Leland get? No, he didn't get his visa. No, not as of this morning, Courtney. Keep in prayer. I think you asked us to pray for your husband. Pray for Israel, for my pastor having random health issues. Pray for those who lost someone serving in military as this will be a rough time. Yeah, that's right. We're praying for all the families of the ones that they lost, gave their lives for our nation. Yes, you see white powder on the train next to you and the dentist taking, talking about not sleeping for three days. Oh, no. <laughs> Everyone barbecue at Nez's house this weekend. He's grilling hamburgers. I am? I know. My brother's daughter is graduating on Sunday. Uh, they're doing the party. And then from there, Monday, I think, we're invited to my friend's house. Every year he does a barbecue. Even though I have the best barrel that you can cook meat on but that for we'll see pray for m she got sick tonight oh we're praying for your daughters matthew for the restaurant and all that pray for the vision i have for a ministry involved food oh yes joey praying for that you and maha need to connect praying for everyone i get older next month happy birthday john's birthday is june 5th next saturday 
I'm going to be in Colorado. But he knows. He's like, don't worry, Dad. I got plans. All right. Have a great weekend. I only can hang out on Fridays. My Walmart schedule stops me from coming in during the week. I'm sorry. We love you, Sophia. We love you all, guys. Thank you so much. Pray for my church as we discover a kingdom of God, dream, vision for reopening fully. Amen. We'll be praying for you, brother. All righty. Let's see. Thank you guys so much. Those are on YouTube, on uh, Twitch, on here. And all of you, 88 people, have a great, great week, long weekend. And uh, good night. How is Maha's stable business? Little snow, little slow. Pray for that to pick up big. She have orders every other day, but uh, smaller orders. So if you want to order, let us know. Thank you, guys. Love you. Have a great night.